Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So I have a laptop that somebody brought to me that has a 128 gigabyte uh, M.2 drive in it. And it works fine, but you should like a little bit more storage and something that maybe is a little bit faster than what the manufacturer originally put in there. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to swap it out. I'm going to double the size so because I have a 256 uh, Samsung uh, drive. I'll show you that in a little bit here. Uh, first, we're going to start off. We're going to use uh, Crystal Dismark. We're going to run the way it's working now and see just how much of an improvement we can get by adding a little bit better drive with more storage. So let's get on with it. Okay, so this is the laptop we're going to replace the M.2 drive with. It's an HP Omen. All right, nothing fancy. It's only got a 1060 graphics card in it because that's what the uh, flavor of the day was at that time. I'm going to display it on this monitor in the background via HDMI cable uh, just so you can see it better and uh, anyway let's get on with the test. Okay so I said uh, Crystal Disk Info but it's actually called Crystal Disk Mark. Okay so you can see what it says here it's software designed to test your SSD performance M.2s all that kind of sort of thing so you just find it just search that up on the internet and wherever you get it from that's up to you uh, I'm getting it from a tech spot and you just go here and you can download it so I'm going to start the download and then everything should be good after that and we'll start the test so then you're just going to open this up you don't need this anymore but I'm going to say yes and close this down you have to accept the agreement or it's simply not going to work and we'll install it on the C drive for now. We can always uninstall it later. And create a shortcut, sure, and install. And you can launch it right away just by clicking and finish. Okay, so it comes up. The first thing it's going to tell us is the what drive it is. 128 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive. It tells you all the specs, everything here. And tells you it's been it's good, 72%. Temperature is at 40. And we're going to start our test. Okay, so I'm just going to click the arrow here. And it gives us a bunch of information. All right, all that kind of good stuff about our hard drive itself. Health status, temperature, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so we'll click this arrow here. It's going to give us a bunch more information. Now, there's two hard drives in here, but this is going to be the one we want to test. If we were looking at the second one, and this is just switching back and forth. So that arrow just goes back and forth before we actually perform any kind of testing. So they show you how, so this is 72%. The other one hasn't been used as much. It's at 100% and the heat. So it's surprising that the heat of this is 35 degrees. The other one was only 22. Okay. Uh, and now that one's an SSD. This one's not. All right, but it's an M.2, so heat-wise, it shouldn't be that bad, but it all depends on how well uh, the manufacturers design the system um, to keep it cool, I guess you'd say. And, of course, you don't need to click that arrow. You can do it right here, C and D, all right? And it'll tell you the information that you need to know. Okay, so to get this, you want to type in Crystal Disk Mark Download or just type in Crystal Disk Mark and do a search. You want the one that shows this image, if you can find it. All right, this is the normal page that you would get it from. So you can click on that if you wish, which is, I'm gonna go right ahead and do that, even though it says go to download. I'll do that, let's do that anyway, just see what happens. All right, so when you get in here, you want the one that says crystal disk mark. Okay, so this one here, this is the one that's actually gonna do the performance and everything. So we'll click on that and say yes and it's going to install it so let's go ahead we'll install it on the C drive sure and let it create an icon we're going to close all this here right now and it's going to say do you want to launch it so we're going to say yes finish and now we have what we want so there's a different things in here you can do you can do test data all right, for a random default test, I want to ch choose NVMe drive or SSD. Okay, 
and we're going to do test data default random but let's see what else it has before we do that so you can do different performance testing here you can choose your theme you can zoom, you can zoom in so let's actually do that let's see what 300 percent does here that'll give us you can see it a little better okay so i won't have to zoom in so much all right so now we can see that a lot better and we're going to go we want to select just the drive we want to do which is our c drive and we're going to click all and it's going to run through and it's going to do a one gigabyte test of this drive and see what we get so we've already seen um, the other download that I did. That gives you your temperatures, gives you more information and all that kind of good stuff. But if you actually want to test it, you need to use this here. So we're just going to let this go through and see what we get. So when you get to this page, the only thing I would suggest changing is change it from 5 to 1. Because it's going to go through and do it 5 different times. Or you can do it just once if you want. Anyhow, our first number has just appeared on the screen. Our read is 1334.95, and then eventually it's going to come up and give us our write. So I'm just going to pause in between, otherwise it makes this video really long. And we'll come back when it's all said and done. Okay, so we've got our, our reads all done. The top one here is going to be the one that is going to give you the top rated speed that the driver is going to be able to accomplish. And then... At different testings it shows you what you're going to be able to accomplish and soon our rights will come up and we'll see what that is and I'll explain a little bit about what each one of these means so if you haven't noticed already our read speed and write speed they should be pretty close to the same uh, the fact that these are not is really kind of disturbing that's I think when we do our switch and we put in the new uh, terabyte drive or uh, not terabyte the new mvme drive that's double the size but also a much better drive instead of the generic one that just came with us we're going to see substantially different numbers all right so we're going to save that and uh, carry on but this is your sequential sequential one megabyte your queues or threads this is all the, what it's performing okay same with this, 128 kilobyte, 32 threads. Okay, you can see what it's actually, the speed it's testing at, 4K, and a random 4K. Okay, so you wouldn't expect these to probably perform with the MVME drive that's in there now. But anyway, this is basically showing you what I really want to concentrate on is the speed. So it says it reads really great, but it doesn't write very good. In fact, it's quite horrible in my opinion so I'm going to run it at number one just one single time and I'm going to do it again and see if it makes any differences I really don't know if it's going to but let's go back in a second and find out so when going to when going through just one single pass it's a little bit better but still um, 46 is better but it's still way lower than I would have expected I am going to be very interested to see what happens with the other MVME drive when I put it in? Um, I might test it independently actually just before just to see how it says it's going to do because maybe there's no point putting it in. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be faster than whatever this is. So I'm going to swap that out and we're going to do this one more time. Okay, so I'm running this now. I've got it plugged into the USB drive before I actually insert it into the system. This is our, it's only been used 30%. C drive was 75, which you would imagine after a certain period of time. And we're going to use this. It's a little bit, quite a bit bigger, but uh, big enough. But hopefully it's going to be much faster. So when I click on that, we're going to do a test on this one and see what happens. And we'll come back once it populates. But I'm expecting this to be much faster. And if it's not, well, then I'll have to go with something else. Because uh, there's no point putting in something that's going to be slower. So I'm running this externally in the USB. Uh, I'm not sure how much that affects it, but that's why I wanted to do that first uh, to see what I get. But see, our read-write speeds are more what I would think more falling in line. 
the Atlas 35 and 42 or whatever that number was. We'll go back to that in a bit. So our reads and writes are on sequence with each other. They're, they're exactly where I would expect them to be. Because if you're reading really fast but you can't write, then it kind of doesn't do a, it doesn't help a lot. So I'm going to swap it out anyway. And we're going to put it in the system. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the C drive that's in the laptop now onto the new drive. And I'm going to swap it out and perform the same test and see if it's better once it's actually in the system. We'll find out. So here's our numbers right now. I, personally, I think they're way better than the other one, even though the reads said it was higher, but the writes were terrible. Okay, so we're going to do the clone. We'll come back. We'll do the same test once it's in the system and see what we got. Okay, the cloning is done. I used Macrium Reflect. I've done a video on that if anybody wants to know how to do it. So you can just always look back. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. So basically right now what I've done is I've taken the screws out so we can access the inside. Now this is an HP Omen laptop. Uh, fairly easy to get into. Our M.2 drive is right here. We're just going to take this screw out. And the one we're going to put in, this is the one we're going to be putting in. NVMe SSD from Samsung and 960 Evo. So it's a bit of an older one too, but I think it's going to perform a whole lot better. So it's very simple to take these things out. For the most part, find a screw, just undo it. Do not lose that screw. <laughs> and just pop this up. Come out. Now there is a, a strip here for helping with the cooling, but it didn't seem to be doing a whole lot. But anyway, now I just have to see how that goes in. So goes in with this part here, like so. Bit of an angle to get it in there. And again, push it down and put that screw in. I'm going to be careful that wire right there, just to avoid that. That's it. So I'm going to put it in. Now I'm going to test it again now that it's inside the laptop and see if I get a little better performance. But even still, even though the read writes are more in line with what I would expect, and the other one was faster, but then very slow at the writes. I suspect there was something wrong with that drive. Because it really never performed well from the minute I got it. So, I'm going to put the cover back on. And we're going to test it again and see what happens. So the first bit of good news is that the clone worked. Everything started up no problem. So let's open up uh, Crystal Disk Mark. Or Crystal Disk Info. But it's actually Disk Mark 8. Okay. And let's redo this again. I'm doing it one time. And see if we get the same result as we did before with the, uh, when it was just the um, external. I'm hoping it'll be faster, but even if it's not, the fact that the read, oh yeah, look at that, 2431. So internal, external is definitely going to make a difference. That is more than double what it was before. If our write comes back anywhere near close to that, then the performance of this, it just increased humongously. So I'm going to let that go through and then we'll come back here in a few seconds. So our test is finished and 2431 and the right's 1509. So that's a whole lot better than 45 and 34 that they got before. All the way down, all the way across the board, everything is way, way better. So I cloned that drive. It's only a little bit bigger than it was before. And yeah, can't go really go wrong with that. So we just have the two things here now. And uh, yeah, even though I used it a little bit more, the read writes are still way better. So the performance on this laptop is going to be superior. That drive that was in there before, let me just see if I can find out what it actually was. Does it even tell us? It's pretty generic. Oh, it's Toshiba. Toshiba 
Yeah. 128 gigabyte doesn't say much more than that. We had the model on the screen there earlier when I had the disk info open, which is always good just to get information on your hard disk. But disk mark is what you want to actually test it, and that's what we've done now. All right, everybody, so uh, externally, it didn't give us really fast read writes. Once you put it in the actual system, then you get the real performance. So going from the earlier, uh, just over 1,000, I think about 1,100 something, to 2431 for a read, and from 40, 3435 to 45 is the maximum for on a write, to 1509, there's no question that the performance is better. It's, it's going to work better. There's just no doubt about it. So if you like that video, if you've got questions about it, send them my way. I'll answer them for you as best I can. I'm not a guru on this stuff. I just know that the speeds that it tests at is a megabyte, 128 kilobyte, uh, a random 4K test, a couple of different ones at different speeds, and that's pretty much all it does. So beyond that, I can't really delve too deep into it because I'm not a guru on this software. I haven't used it a lot. I'm going to be using it more in the future uh, because I want to know when I get something, I'm getting the performance I'm supposed to be getting. So video shows very clearly you get the right software, you can test the product and then upgrade it to get something much, much better. If you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, leave me a comment down below. Let me know why or what I can do to make it better. And as I go along, I'm learning and you're learning with me. And we'll figure all this stuff out. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that join button if you want to support the channel. Or just click on the super thanks and say, hey, I learned. That helped me out. And uh, yeah, that'll support the channel as well. And uh, hit that bell for notifications as they come up for future videos. I'm trying to always come up with something better to teach you along the way. So that you can come back here as a resource and look things up. And if it's not there, you let me know. And I'll do a video on it because I want it to be this is like a resource you can go to that will help you walk you through it in the easiest way I know how. All right. Thanks for watching. You have a great day. Bye. -bye.